welcome Broken Arrow Tiger football, basketball, volleyball fans. I'm Dan Hawk, JoJo David on the call with me doing color analyst. Tonight we have some volleyball for you. Broken Arrow 23 and 10, Enid 12 and 24. Opportunity for Broken Arrow this evening. They win this, they're on the, the regional final. They win that and they're off to state. So JoJo, the stage is set for the Tigers. Got to win here to keep the season alive. Yes, sir, this is a really important one. First off, shout out to the Tigers. We get to host regionals this year. That's all, obviously every, a big accomplishment. And coming in over here, we win this game, we take care of business, then we got Bartlesville or Muskogee next. So keep our eyes, I mean, obviously, Stay focused on this game, but understand if we do, we got a big task after this. That's right, JoJo and the Tigers 23 and 10, Enid 12 and 24. We had senior night a couple, about, I want to say about two weeks ago, packed field house. Hopefully the crowd will roll in. I see some of your jungle members in here as well. So this is an opportunity to pack the field house. Basically one final time for volleyball. Yeah, we had, obviously we got a lot more jungle ass coming up later on, but last game, just take, let's take a, take, just take a moment to go back to that game, that Booker T game. That was a great game by our Tigers, so that they can prevail in any situation, but we should be able to take care of business today. And I want to give a big shout out to all of our students that are running cameras this evening. Antonio Hurling, who's the director of the stream, as well as engineering with Blake Shy. Appreciate all the work that they've done. And I also got to give a shout out to our maintenance crew. I, I know the camera's not going to be showing it unless they panned it around, and I don't expect them to, but we're getting a brand new setup inside the field house that'll be done for all of our indoor sports. And JoJo, I know you're a senior, but when you look at this, th this is just premier class right here. Oh, 100%. This looks like really, really nice. You know, obviously, we like to focus a lot about like the outdoor events, especially football being the main thing. We have like, you have your own booth and everything, but just you know, we're at this little table over here, so just have a, an actual setup for us is going to be a nice, nice addition. That's right, and I believe that it's set up here in the corner um, on the Tiger side. When when we get into basketball, you'll be able to see it a whole lot more because they're doing the construction process now, but it already looks pretty sharp on what they are able to do. We'll take a quick time out here on Aerovision as the Tigers get set to host Enid. Stay with us. You're watching volleyball on Aerovision. While you are teaching someone special the nuances of keeping the wheel steady, we can provide you means for you to maintain financial equilibrium. First National Bank of Broken Arrow. First people put people first. Matthews Ford and Broken Arrow has been collaborating with Broken Arrow Public Schools since 2016 and sponsors the Broken Arrow Teacher of the Year Award by providing a courtesy car for the winner to drive throughout the year. We'd like to recognize Matthews Ford for being a valuable community partner with Broken Arrow Public Schools. And welcome back to the Tiger Fieldhouse. I'm Dan Hawk. Alongside me, senior class president JoJo David as we will take courtside right now as the national anthem will be played, followed by the announcement of all the starters in this regional semifinal with Enid taking on Broken Arrow. Tigers. Number two, 
Number two, Lily Boswell. Number four, Aaliyah Owens. Number five, Caitlin Standifer. Number six, Grace Marshall. Number eight, Lauren Arms. Number 11, Jaya Tarver. Number 15, Bella Krebs. Number 17, Reagan Holt. Number 19, Avery Jones. Number 21, Maddie Torelli. Number 29, Candace Foosh. Number 30, Jasmine Bell. Number 33, Maddie Blackburn. Number 43, Emerson Metter. And number 66, Brooklyn Cahill. Head coach for the Lady Tigers, Coach Ian Bullen. Both teams getting ready for this regional semifinal as they just announced both rosters. I think they're waiting to decide potentially if we are going to hear the anthem or not. I don't know. But if not, then we'll start playing some volleyball. They're getting their final rotation set. Both teams, that is. The Pacers are coached by Gabe Watts. And I am Bolin, the head coach of the Broken Arrow Lady Tigers. These are grabbing more chairs. I see that. I'm going to readjust my headset, so I'll let you take over for a second, JoJo. Yep. Okay, so in all honesty, one thing the Tigers need to do this game, obviously Ian needs coming in with a 12-24 and 24 record, but we cannot sleep on them 100%. Avery Jones. Couldn't agree with you more. No sleep in the night for the Lady Tigers. They know what's at stake on the opportunity to get to state. Avery Jones on to serve, gets it across down the middle. Enid counters. They fling it across. Tigers trying to work the outside, but that was blocked. Jones unable to save it. So Enid will strike first, 1-0. Yeah, good effort by Jones to get down there, trying to get that ball up, but um, it's, it's just a good thing to show that effort by Jones as Kenzie Rogers is there to serve. So Enid on to serve, and that is Kinsley Rogers. Gets it to Jones. Tigers working the outside. Get it across. Jones again onto the outside. That was Grace Marshall trying to get the kill there. Jones to Lily Boswell. Boswell, nice rally, JoJo. Back and forth right now. They are going back and forth. A good job right there. Right there, just Fuge and Boswell just having their hands up. Did a great job in Pileski, number 11 on Enid, just couldn't couldn't get it passed over there. You can kind of tell, I mean, obviously the record's kind of like 23 and 10, 12, 24, but just to see the power of the hits just shows the record difference. Nice ace by Boswell. That'll make it two to one in favor of B.A. Yeah, Lily Boswell just put it right there in the perfect spot, and she obviously, we can brag about her 24-7 all day. She's just been a, a dog, and we see a ball go out on the court. Boswell averages almost 
two aces a game. So she's moved that up as I believe our last game it was an average of one ace per game. Boswell again on the serve, gets it across. Lauren Jackson saves it. Boswell to Jones, working the outside corner. Marshall gets it. That one's going to go out of bounds. Tigers pick up the points. They take the two-point advantage early in this first set. Yeah, the way that I mean, in right now their offense wasn't doing too much in that possession, and they kind of just, kind of just like wasted the possession right there. Just threw it out of bounds. That one is going to stay in by Bailey Ross. So the Pacers pick a point back. It's now three to two. Yeah, Harms and Jones on that back end, they seem to have that connection to understand who goes for the ball. But in that moment, they both did not go for it, kind of messed with it. That one's going to go into the net. Tigers rebound that one, four to two. Want to make a note, e, uh, Muskogee looking on on the other side of the court on the Pacers' side, probably getting a taste of what they could be facing next. Possibly. Either of them are Bartersville, so our Tigers got to stay ready for that. A nice ace by Grace Marshall. Tigers jump out quickly, five to two here in the first set. It seems the Tigers just seem to have weapons everywhere, in all honesty. From the back end to the front end to the middle, just defensively, offensively, they have they have weapons that can do it all from every single position. Marshall. Nice serve across. That one is gonna go out of bounds. Tigers jump out to a four advantage lead. Fuchs did a good job taking a chance at that ball that was up there. It looked like a 50-50 ball, but she went out there and made that a 60-40 ball. Took advantage of it, got the point for us. Marshall going back down the middle. Enid saves it. But a block, a defense for the Tigers, and they now pick it up 7-2. Yeah, right there, Maddie Torelli, she just found, found a gap in the defense of of the um, of the Pacers and put it right there in that exact spot. Didn't have to put too much power on it. Got the point for a 7-2 lead Tigers. Marshall going back down the middle again. Going to work on the outside edge. It's Lauren Harms. Harms with a save. But the Tigers, Boswell unable to pick it back up. So Enid will get a point back there, 7-3. to three. One thing I think about Dan all the time is, like, what if Harms did not have those elbow things on? And honestly, that, 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 that burn is going to have to hurt. But just great effort right there by Harms going down for it, body on the line. On to serve, Marissa Chavez. Back and forth right now. Jones saves it. Over in the corner. And the kill. Lauren Harms makes it eight to three. Yeah, from the, from the start right there, Jones is putting an awkward position to get that ball to her, but she kept it in play, and this had that back and forth connection with the Tigers offensively, got her over there, got the points for us. So we had to take a pretty solid, yet slim, confident lead at the beginning of the So game. Reagan Holt will get her first chance serving. She goes right to Chavez. Farrowsville gets it right across. Tigers, Jai Tarver. Unable to get it after hitting it into the net. Yeah, Boswell and Jaya Tarver right there on that on the ground in that front area, trying to get it up as, they, as giving them as much opportunity as they could, but just didn't really have that chance. Tigers somehow save it on that one. Looking the outside. And that was Lauren Jackson going right by Tarp. Obviously, the Pacers got the point on that, but can we just talk about the fact, I mean, number 33 right here, Maddie Blackburn. She did a great job going down for that, trying to keep that ball in play. Arm saves it. Work in the middle. Torelli. Chavez now goes to Jones. Boswell to Tarver. Tarver gets it across. That makes it nine to five in favor of Broken Arrow. Yeah, Tarver right there being she's being the middle, the middle person right now for the Tigers. And she just put it in the perfect spot. That back little area over there. No patients were down there. Great job by the Tigers. So Matty Torelli on to serve to Chavez.
Emma Sullivan gets it across and lane violation by Broken Arrow makes it a nine to six game. Yeah, Boswell got a little too excited on that one. Hit the net with the right arm, trying to hit the ball with their left. But I think we're gonna be all good. Jackson serving for Enid. And how about that? Boswell working the corner on that one. Yeah, Lily Balser right there. She just found the schematics on the way to just get like a little bit over that net, just barely skimming it in an area like right across, like diagonal from her body in a perfect spot where no patients were there and the Tigers get another point. Harms, the senior, sends it across. That one is gonna be way off the mark, Emma Sullivan. So the points will go to Broken Arrow. Yeah, and you want to keep Harms back there on serving. She has 33 aces this season so far. That's just an insane amount right now. So just keeping her back there to have her as a weapon back there is just really valuable. Well, she enjoys getting it across just like that, another ace. She can kind of float it over, and then she can line drive it. She's just got very good talent with her arm and hand when she touches the volleyball. Now that's 34. We just talked about 30. That's 34 aces. So Harms is continuing to be in a weapon, and we've seen her be up there for a defensive specialist. She can just do it all. So Harms gets a 12 to 6 advantage. She's going to dump it across over to the corner. And another kill by Lauren Harms. That makes it 13 to 6 as our jungle men down there amping up the Lady Tigers. Yeah, right there, Grace Marshall just having some insane power to the head over there. and Just Tigers get back and just do it again over and over. Just consistency, consistency, consistency. Sullivan going to Harms. Tarver blocked. <laughs> Harms on the save. Boswell. Trying to keep it in, but that one is going to go wide left. 13 to 7, still in favor of Broken Arrow. Yeah, Torelli's setup right there was really weird. She kind of put it a little bit farther back than where Grace Marshall would have wanted it, so it kind of put her in an awkward position. So it just kind of went way too far out. Zoe Robinson on to serve now. Goes to Jones. Just flinging it across as Boswell but not gonna get it done that time. Enid now makes it eight to 13. I believe they said it was at a double hit violation or a net violation? Net violation. Okay. So Robinson again to serve. Nice save by Boswell. Wall of defense by Broken Arrow. That was Marshall and Tarver to pick up point 14. It's like in that play right there, Dan, it's like the Tigers' defense was playing offense, just getting the ball back forth, back forth, keeping their hands up, just doing a great job, making that ball, making that point as hard as they could for the Pacers to get it. And we see a great job getting that point. 14 and 8 now. Jones on to serve. But. Enid picks up the point on that on the service error. Yeah, we always talk about how every sport is a game of inches. That right there is a perfect example. It very first example so far of the day. But Jones put it in a good spot, but just a little bit too far out. Didn't it? Tessa barely touched that line. Didn't do it that time. So that's a point for the Pacers. Kinsley Rogers on to serve goes directly to Jones. Jones unable to pick it up off the hardwood. So that'll be a service ace for Enid. It seems that Rogers put it in a spot where it was really hard for anybody to get it there. She kind of pinpointed a place where there was not a single Tiger put in the middle. Good point for them. Trying to get a kill in the corner by Candace Fuchs. Unable to get it. So now it's only a three-point advantage for Broken Arrow. One thing I, always, I noticed just now, normally we have Fuchs in the middle Seeing her as an outsider person, that's, that's a new position. You know, she has some power to it, but didn't get her over the net. And now right there, it's just out. Um, I believe that was... So with that out, it's now 15 to 11. This Broken Arrow gets the ball back. It's Boswell. Working the corner. Boswell to Marshall. Marshall blocked. 
Blocked again. And that one is going to go wide. It's now 15-12. Enid making it interesting here in the first set. Great, great competition in that match right there by both those teams. And um, crazy fact that I just pulled up. I know we talked about that harm test. Now 34 aces in the season. Boswell has 49. Pretty good stat to live with there. Insane. Marshall, work in the middle. As Enid dives, unable to get it. Tigers get another point back. It's now 16 to 12 as this one is closing in on a back and forth contest early on. Yeah, Marissa Chavez better put her body out there to try to get that. It was really close to that wall, honestly, too. The junior, Marshall, going down the middle. Chavez saves it. Nice wall of defense by Broken Arrow. And they're going to pick up the points, 17 to 12. Point Tigers. Yeah, right there, that was a violation on the on the pacer, specifically number 34, Savannah Crawford. She got a little bit too antsy, got too close to that net. Any sign, any sign of a touch, net violation. Marshall is going to get it. My goodness, that was right on the line in the back corner. Enid unable to hang on. 18 to 12 here in the field house. Tigers out in front. We're going to pause real quickly. You're watching Tiger Volleyball on Aerovision. <laughs> Racing towards the end of the month? Ask about our early pay options. <laughs> TTCU Federal Credit Union. Life is better in balance. At Ascension St. John, you'll find advanced heart care, brain and spine care, and personalized cancer care. And we excel just as much in the things that can't be measured. Listening more closely, caring more compassionately. If you and your family have been waiting for the perfect time to jump into your dream home, it's here. We make buying a new home as easy as it is exciting with quick credit approvals and great rates. First National Bank of Broken Arrow. First people put people first. And welcome back to the Tiger Fieldhouse. Broken Arrow just needs seven points, and they will take set number one against Enid in this semifinal regional matchup. Winner of this will wait to see what happens with Bartlesville and Muskogee. They will face the winner of this matchup. Jones saves it for the Tigers. A nice dump off by Bailey Ross. Just tips it right back across the net. Hits the ground. Points. I believe, I guess, she hit the net. But Coach Watts is getting a ruling here. I thought that was completely clean for, for Enid there, JoJo. Yeah, right there. Bailey Ross, she did a great job. I was going to say it before I they called. I didn't think she hit the net. Yeah, before they called it, I was going to say she did a great job of just hitting it, being aware that the net was right beside her. But, hey, Point Tigers, I'm not mad. Yeah, yeah. we'll take it. <laughs> but it, I, don't, I don't know. From that from our angle, it looked like it was completely clean. That, for that looked like a clean look. And if it was us, I'd be a bit frustrated with the call. That's right. Marshall kicking it across. Chavez back to Marshall. Boswell. Torelli, Chavez, the points are going to go to the Tigers. Miscommunication on Enid as Watts fires up for his lady Pacers. Yeah, Coach Watts has some passion right there in that. So, showing to these his ladies, we got to do better than that. We got to do better than that. So, seeing that passion from Coach just really means a lot. You know, obviously being a being a former athlete myself, just seeing passion from me, Coach, means a lot. It's an ace. Mar Marshall with the service ace. Four away here in the first set against Enid. Already two aces in this game. That's 43 aces on the season so far. That's a great way to end it off going into a potential state tournament clutch. That one is going to go out. Just a little bit for Lauren Harms, 21 to 13. It's scary to see the power that Harms has on that left side, in all honesty. It seems like every time we put it over there, it's, it's in a sense, fear that, that that's going to be a point on the Tigers. She, she has some power behind her hits, and that's what you expect from a three-year starter on this Tiger squad. Brooklyn Cahill coming in for Maddie Torelli. So getting some size in the middle, potentially able to block for us. Candace Fuge back in the lineup as well, along with Avery Jones. Grace Marshall 
on to serve with Lauren Harms in there as well. Torelli taking a breather. His I am bowling is speaking to his Lady Tigers, Maddie Blackburn, along with Jasmine Bell. Seems that Coach Wass was trying to fight for something over like some type of case that he had that his latest are the point, but good 10 point gap the Tigers have right now in this first set. Marshall going right to Chavez. Sullivan to Marshall, to Boswell, to Jones, gets it across. The wall of defense is there. Marshall, nice and shot by Candace Fuchs. Just That's not, gonna be two points now and Tigers can smell victory. It's not the first time we've seen that little technique that they have. They seem, it seems to be that middle person they always have kind of goes around the outside person and hit it on a weird angle that gets the Pacers confused. Just great job by Tigers manipulating the defense. Marshall still serving now. Line drive to Chavez. Enid saves it. Harms fires to Chavez. Now Chavez gets it across. Jones. How about that one by Candace Fuchs? That makes it 24 to 12 as the jungle erupts. And once again, we chatted about it. Now we have one more point through the game. It's decided first set, but we like we talked about it. That, that technique that they have, getting Fuchs to like go around, gets them really confused, point on the board for the Tigers. So Marshall with a chance for victory here. Chavez hits it on the ground, and that'll be set number one. Tigers cruise 25 to 12 over Enid. We'll take a quick timeout. Tigers take set one. You're watching Tiger Volleyball on AeroVision. Tulsa Bone & Joint, Northeast Oklahoma's sports medicine experts. We are pleased to help you and the athletes in your life with a number of surgical and non-surgical options. Tulsa Bone & Joint is proud to serve as team orthopedist for local high schools such as Broken Arrow, Owasso, Sepulpa, Casha Hall, and Bishop Kelly. We're also proud to be team orthopedist for FC Tulsa. Tulsa Bone & Joint, moving life forward. Matthews Ford and Broken Arrow has been collaborating with Broken Arrow Public Schools since 2016. Through this partnership, Matthews Ford sponsors the Broken Arrow Teacher of the Year Award by providing a courtesy car for the winner to drive throughout the year. We'd like to recognize Matthews Ford for their efforts in supporting educators and being a valuable community partner with Broken Arrow Public Schools. This support sets a great example of how local businesses can work together with our school system to create a better future for all. <laughs> Life happens in a hurry. Our money experts will help you keep up. TTCU Federal Credit Union. Life is better in balance. While you are teaching someone special the nuances of keeping the wheel steady, we can provide you means for you to maintain financial equilibrium. First National Bank of Broken Arrow. First people put people first. And welcome back to the Tiger Fieldhouse. Broken Arrow took set number one. Now beginning set number two. You know, Tigers, just, they just kind of come into this set, this set two with the same energy from set one. Get it over with, get it done with fast. You know, we started off dominating, we got to finish off dominating. So let's just carry over that same energy from the first set to the second set.
Tigers start getting, getting a little hype. The student section gets a little, little energy. Going to the second set. And some more students rolling in. Boys head basketball coach Bo Wallace in the house this evening as well. Everybody's here for some volleyball. Man, the myth, the legend, Bo Wallace in, in attendance tonight. This is also his house too, you know? This is his house. And I be checking out Aerovision. We'll be having his stories with Shane Coffey with the Lady Tigers as well as Bo Wallace's boys basketball program as well. Be checking that on Aerovision. So we are in set number two as Enid gets points by Addison Polsky to start out the frame. Yeah, Harms right there, good attempt getting at that, but Polsky just put that one in a really good spot where Harms had to like, she backed up to, to it, um, go for it, but had to move forward to get it. Jones going all the way to the hardwood to get that one across. Marshall gets it across. Harms saves it, out to Marshall. Marshall to Chavez. That one's going to go into the net, though, by Grace Marshall. Yeah, Savannah Crawford right there. She did a good job. I honestly believe that if she did not put her hands up, that ball would have went over. That, 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 the way that it skims the net. But um, she did. Crawford did a great, great job. Just putting her hands up there, make sure that nothing would happen. So Kinsley Rogers on to serves. Goes right to Jones. And Marshall in the corner trying to get that kill. Looks like. Two-fifth violation against the Vikings. Point, Tigers. Tigers are going to pick up a point Tigers here by a violation. I didn't catch the violation. The Broken Arrow will now make it a one-point game. Yeah, that was a violation by their front line on the Pacers, so good job to get the Tigers a point quick and early on. Libero, Jones. Enid having all kinds of trouble. That one's going to go into the upper decks. But we've yet to get a ruling here by the refs. They've yet to say what the point is. Yeah, should be broken arrow. Bailey Ross and Marissa Chavez right there just like ran into each other trying to go for that I ball. I think they but might be discussing if two players hit the ball at once. But yeah, that still wouldn't matter because broken arrow, I mean, the ball eventually went into the crowd. The points would go to the Tigers. I noticed there was a whistle blown before all that, before Fush even hit it. So. I think that's what um, Coach Watts is trying to argue his case for right now. And him and Bonson are going back and forth. Still waiting here. Scores remains 2-1. Huh. I guess we're just going to play on without that. As Enid picks up some points in the middle. So the Pacers jump out to a 3-1 lead. Yeah, Jones right there. She, she, she thought she had an ace, but... The Pacers hit it right back over, and then she tried to be the person to go get it when it should have been somebody from these from the inner area. Made it more complicated. They gave point for the Pacers. Marshall working the middle, but that one just outside the playing area. So it'll be four to one Pacers. A big difference that I've noticed. Um, most home games that we've had in the regular season will have our own Tigers as the, as the um, judges, line judges, but now we have some professionals. Students aren't professionals, JoJo? Big difference, you know, these <laughs> ones are in the, they're in the, uh, the suits and everything, or the nice. Yeah, I think everything kind of changes once it gets in a regional round, because it, there's a lot that's on the line right now. Tigers starting a little slow in this second set. It's five to one in front of Enid on top. Gabe Watts, a very vocal coach for the Pacers. And that's a coach that you want. You don't want to shy away from that, in all honesty. Harm saves it. Marshall over on the outside. And that's another kill for Marshall. Yeah. Down know, by three. Pick your poison. Marshall, Harms, Jones, Torelli, every single one of them. Anywhere you put them, there'll be weapons. Get us plus on the board. And these are the type of shift changes that you get the moments on our side. Keep it going. Boswell's on to serve. Yeah. 
Work in the middle this time. That was Candace Fuge. Five to three as the Tigers cutting back into that lead. That all honestly started from not even like what the Tigers did defensively, but what the Pacers did offensively. Their setup was really weird. Gave us an easy chance to set up an easy kill. Enid barely gets it across. Marshall was trying to go for the kill, but just dumps it across. And a bad mistake by Lauren Jackson. And the Tigers are down by one. Yeah, Jackson had the right idea, wrong execution. She saw, she was up in there, she said, oh, I see that left there. He tries to hit her over there. Didn't have enough time. Hits the net. Point, Tigers. Boswell to serve. That one's going to miss the mark. Chavez just lets it go out of the playing area. Six to four, Enid. Yeah, Boswell, she, she seems to be like trying to confuse the Pacers to put in their hands and trying to hit it. And they almost did in that moment, but they raised their hands up. They said, nah, I was out. Chavez to Jones, to Fuchs, bounces off the net. Jones, Boswell, Marshall, Marshall bangs it right into the net. It's now seven to four. Yeah, we have to make sure that momentum stays on our side. It feels like we had a quick shift immediately after we started getting a little bit of points. Now it's on the Pacer side. Got to make sure to show up defensively, get, the, get that points on our side. Chavez now serving. Goes to the middle. Marshall, correction, Harms unable to save that one. It's eight to four. Reminder, we'll be on Aerovision this Friday night as we continue football season. Bixby coming to town, undefeated Spartans taking on Broken Arrow Tigers. Tigers looking for their second win in district play and second win overall as well as the Tigers get one back here on the volleyball court. It's now five to eight. Yeah, great job by Grace Marshall right there, just hitting it over where nobody was getting a point. And Dan, speaking on that football game, I'm calling upset, baby. Be it till I die, Tigers on top, 38-35. I love that, JoJo. I love the energy, and I hope it's a packed jungle. Always will be for home games. Marshall. Fuchs. Back to Torelli. Torelli gets it across. It's now eight to six. Yeah, Torelli did an amazing job right there. So it just shows in volleyball, not the kills and the spikes are not always just going to get you the points. The little things about just dumping it across, finding those little keyholes where the defense is not there to so get the points, build up the points. Marshall. Fuse gets a shot off her hand. Torelli then gets it across. That one it goes right in to Lauren Harms, and she was unable to have any protection. It's now nine to six. Yeah, Watts, Coach Watts showing some energy for his um, patients getting that point over there. It was a great job. They, they put it in a comfortable position for Grace Marshall. Hit her in the upper shoulder bicep area to where the point that she didn't know what to do with it. Goes over, that's a point for the, play, for the Pacers. Bailey Ross serviced for Enid, but Fuse makes some pay. It's now seven to nine on that kill. Yeah, that's just sheer power from Fuse right there. Putting it where nobody was. Just great court vision right there, getting a point for us. Hopefully this is a sign of a moment, momentum shift for the Tigers as we're closing to that lead little by little. Coming in to serve is Reagan Holt as Candace Fuse takes a breather. Sullivan goes right to Torelli. Points are going to go to the Tigers. It's now nine, or correction, eight, nine. Yeah, Tigers little by little cutting to that lead. That's what you want to see. You know, the energy's boosting up a little bit. Hopefully that lays off on the Tigers. Air saying the Tigers went into the net. That was Lily Boswell and Matty Torelli. And Enid still stays on top, 10-8. to eight. You know, I didn't, I didn't see that one. I didn't see a net violation in that moment. But like I said, I think it's, it's a different story now. Any little thing will get called. Now we have like actual line judges that are going to make that call. Katie Honesberg with the service ace for Enid. And they take a three-point lead in the contest. Yeah, that right there, 
Great ball placed by Lauren Jackson. It was in that upper area, and the Tigers went for it when they shouldn't have, got a point for them. Tarver back in there. That one just barely out. And the Tigers make it a two point break point. Yeah, and Blackburn, she went over there. She was running with, with execution. She's like, hey, I got to get to that one, but it ended up being that anyway. But just great effort shown by, by Blackburn in that moment. Torelli on to serve. That's going to fall in as Enid looks right at it, but it goes right on the court, just inside the playing mark. 10 to 11. Yeah, Torelli put it in the right spot. And a little dance move that we saw from the Tigers right there, getting a little hype, putting their hands up and down, cheering. So let's see the energy from, from that starting lineup. Nice wall of defense by Tarver and Boswell. Harms going right. That one is out. We are tied here in the field house, 11-11. Good job. They just, the Tigers, they have to just stay poised, you know. We had said it from the beginning. If we just play our game, it should be a win for the Tigers. And just staying poised, even though they were down a, a, a little bit at the beginning, staying poised, just giving it time, play their game, and 11-11. Torelli on to serve. Nice service ace to take the lead, 12-1. And I believe this is the first time in this contest that they have the lead and, until we go back to the very beginning when it was 1-1. Yeah, Torelli, she's just been insane back there in all honesty. She can do it all. You know, we see her in that defensive area and then even back there, beautiful, perfect ace. Like, that is per pure perfection. No ace this time. Communication by the Tigers to try to keep it up, but Enid capitalizes, and we're tied up 12-all. You can kind of see how much a team is a team whenever they're faced with adversity. Right there, um, Torelli and Lily Boswell had an, an encounter where they kind of didn't know who went for it, and they both like separated. Torelli said, whoa, what are you doing? They said, never mind, squash to give high fives. Simple as that. So great job just shutting it down immediately, not having any concerns. That one's going to stay in. Boswell making a terrific shot. It's now 13 to 12. We always say game of inches, and that right there is an example of it. Little, little bit of it touched that line. Judge over there caught it in. Point for the Tigers as we have our first lead of the second set right now. Tigers took set one, looking to close out the door on Enid here. Marshall. Boswell, and Boswell gets it. 14 to 12 now, Broken Arrow. She put it in a beautiful spot right there. Like the, both the defenders on Boswell and that back game were separated, put it right there, that's with the defense. That's the point for the Tigers. Lauren Harms on to serve. Miscommunication on Enid. Kinsley Rogers goes under the net. That's going to be making it 15 to 12. Harms, once again, once this, this regular season is coming to an end, just stacking up the amount of aces she has on the board. Almost another one, too. Nearly. The defense is showing right here for the Tigers. Back and forth with one another. Boswell. Jones. Now Boswell, that one's going to go in. That's going to make it 16 to 12. She'll get the kill for that, but it just didn't have the same luster as her previous kill. 100%. Now, that didn't even have like much of a kill to it in a sense, but hey, kill is a kill, point is a point. Getting that lead up for the Tigers. Harms with the service ace. That makes it 17 to 12 as the lead is extending out for Broken Arrow. Yeah, great job, Tigers. They, like I said, stand poised, play your game. Play the, play the Tiger game that they always do. And we can see it in the lead right now, five point gap. Continuously adding up to it. It's gonna be, should be a smooth rail to that end. Arms going down the middle. Jones saves it. Fuchs to Boswell, Boswell. 
into the net by Ella Branstetter. That'll give the points to Broken Arrow. Quick just, timeout by Enid. We'll pause as well. You're watching Tiger Volleyball on AeroVision. They lead it 18 to 12. At Ascension St. John, you'll find advanced heart care, brain and spine care, and personalized cancer care. And we excel just as much in the things that can't be measured. Listening more closely, caring more compassionately. Matthews Ford and Broken Arrow has been collaborating with Broken Arrow Public Schools since 2016 and sponsors the Broken Arrow Teacher of the Year Award by providing a courtesy car for the winner to drive throughout the year. We'd like to recognize Matthews Ford for being a valuable community partner with Broken Arrow Public Schools. <laughs> Racing towards the end of the month? Ask about our early pay options. TTCU Federal Credit Union. Life is better in balance. Broken Arrow took set number one. They look to take set number two against Enid here. Remember, Bartlesville Muskogee will play after this first match, and the winner will face either Enid or Broken Arrow for the regional title coming up later this evening. Harms on to serve. Marshall just dumps it across. Chavez gets it across. Boswell to Fuchs. Tarver. Bingo. 19 to 12 now for Broken Arrow. It seems like Tarver, like she put that, she hit it down on the, def the front line defender's hands to get it go back. And it was an odd technique, but it worked as Tarver got us the points on the board. Little by little separating the gap to get us to that 25 mark. And Brooklyn Cahill coming in for Lily Boswell. Jones saves it. Fuchs. Miscommunication there. I believe they were looking to just have Jones hit it across, but Marshall was wanting the kill shot. Yeah, miscommunication right there. Get a point for the, for the Pacers. But one good thing, that was one of the first points the Pacers have had in a while. Tiger Stevens has been stepping it up ever since that, that first start of that second set. Marshall, nearly a kill. They're going right back to her. Jones saves it. Fuchs to Tarver. Tarver over the middle. That one is going to be wide out in the back corner. Nine. Oh, wait a minute here. Now they, gave, they gave it to the Pacers right there. You know, the was, announcer was, had it wrong then. Okay, the not my announcing, the public address announcer, that is. Yeah, it seemed, seemed really close. It, it could have been either or, but, you know. Pacers going to pick up another point. It'll be 19 to 15. Yeah, Cahill right there, she tried the little dump off, but it did not work, a little bit too outside of that line. So now the Pacers kind of have the momentum on their side, get, get some points on us. In that outside corner. Point goes to the Tigers, lane violation. 20 to 15, Broken Arrow, as Watts is gonna come over and talk to the referee. As Tarver comes out, Reagan Holt comes out. Or Broken Arrow, Avery Jones in there, along with Candace Fuchs, Maddie Torelli, Lauren Harms, and Brooklyn Cahill. Nice defense by the Tigers, 21 to 15, as Watts and Enid frustration starting to set in a little bit. Yeah, that front line of defense right there did their job, making sure to, to keep the company Nothing in their area. Did their job keeping the ball on that side. Got us a point. Avery Jones, line drive across. Harm saves it. Marshall trying to get the kill. Enid somehow saves it. Harm saves it to Jones. Over to Marshall. She sends it across. Nice wall of defense for Broken Arrow, 22 to 15. Yeah, right there, Grace Marshall and Fuchs just doing their job, going to the left end and find that there is somebody over there, putting their hands up, making sure that no fly zone. Great job. Boswell was about ready to sub in, but no substitution just yet as Jones. Ah! 
Harms to Torelli, out to Marshall. And that one's going to stay in. Two points away from victory here in set number two. Seems like Grace Marshall seems to be the one over there on that side that's doing the thing, doing it, holding it down, getting us the points. And right there, 23 15, close to victory, very close. The senior, Jones, is out on that one, 23 16, Eden. And now Muskogee and uh, Barnes are getting ready to go get warmed up. It feels like their, their thing is going to be done pretty soon. Jones, right down the middle, Candace Fuchs. Yeah, Fuchs One right away from victory here, JoJo. Yeah, Fuchs right there just putting it straight down. She noticed whenever, like, she, she took the note down that nobody was in that down area, hit it straight down, point for the Tigers. Game point as now we have Aaliyah Owens back to serve. The freshman in the lineup. Dumps it over to Jones. Jones giving it to Marshall, and Marshall nearly got the kill. Harm saves it. Jones to Fuchs. Harms to Jones. Out to Marshall. Enid gets it across. Marshall again. Enid. Is saving it yet again. Very back and forth right now. We love it. Nice rally out of both teams. And the wall unable to save at that time as Jackson picks up the points. It's now 24 to 17. Enid. Yeah, fusion that moment right there. She tried to even use her feet. That's the last resort of defense, but right there, just great back and forth by both teams right there. That is volleyball right there. You know, just, just seeing competition between both teams, entertainment, and that's an out right there. Point Tigers as the set two goes to the Tigers. Tigers take it. 25 to 17, they lead it 2-0. We'll pause as well. One more victory and the Tigers will be playing for a regional title. You're watching Tiger Volleyball on Aerovision. Tulsa Bone and Joint, Northeast Oklahoma's sports medicine experts. We are pleased to help you and the athletes in your life with a number of surgical and non-surgical options. Tulsa Bone and Joint is proud to serve as team orthopedist for local high schools such as Broken Arrow, Owasso, Sepulpa, Casha Hall, and Bishop Kelly. We're also proud to be team orthopedist for FC Tulsa. Tulsa Bone and Joint, moving life forward. Matthews Ford and Broken Arrow has been collaborating with Broken Arrow Public Schools since 2016. Through this partnership, Matthews Ford sponsors the Broken Arrow Teacher of the Year Award by providing a courtesy car for the winner to drive throughout the year. We'd like to recognize Matthews Ford for their efforts in supporting educators and being a valuable community partner with Broken Arrow Public Schools. This support sets a great example of how local businesses can work together with our school system to create a better future for all. <laughs> Life happens in a hurry. Our money experts will help you keep up. TTCU Federal Credit Union. Life is better in balance. While you are teaching someone special the nuances of keeping the wheel steady, we can provide you means for you to maintain financial equilibrium. First National Bank of Broken Arrow. First people put people first.
And welcome back to the Tiger Field House. Tigers just took set number two. One more victory here, and they will be playing for a regional title. They will wait the winner of Bartlesville or Muskogee if Enid is unable to win a set here. Tigers are going back with their starting rotation with Jones, Lily Boswell, that's Avery Jones, Grace Marshall, Candace Fuchs, and Lauren Harms. Five twenty-four, five twenty-five, rather. Want to give a shout out to the students that are helping us run this stream, along with Antonio Hurling, who's the director of the stream, along with Blake Shy, director of engineering. Blake is a goat, if you guys don't know. He does a lot of the behind the scenes stuff, so give huge credit to him. All right, here we go. Set number three. As Tigers start first with points, Candace Fuchs. Yeah, great setup offensively for, to give it easily, actually for Maddie Torelli right there. It's easy to just get it right in the spot where she needs to get it. Point for the Tigers, great start. Seeing that 1 0 right up there. As Avery Jones. On to serve. She is going to pick up a service ace. Those low line drive serves are not easy to contain or easy to stop, and Jones is going to pick up the points there. Yeah, the paces right there kind of shot themselves in the foot, putting it in a spot where they could have had no chance to get it. You know, Marissa, Mr. Chavez had to go back all the way over there to try to hit it, had no chance at it. So kind of mess it up for themselves, 2-0 lead for the Tigers. What's that? Whoa. Enid saving it there. Boswell. Chavez unable to get it with the kill. That's 3-0. Broken arrow. Yeah, great, great start right there. Boswell putting in a good spot. Nobody could get it. But I, I don't know how the Pacers had saved that. I don't even know if they did save that, to be honest. But whatever it is, does not matter because we got the point, not them. So 3-0 lead for Broken Arrow here. Jones going right down the middle again. Arm saves it. Boswell this time. That's going to be just outside the mark. And that will be Enid's first points of the match. Or the set, rather. So Kinsley Rogers on to serve. As Gabe Watts is talking to Bree Lamro. Almost miscommunication right there between Harms and Jones. Nice save by Harms. Avery Jones dumps it across. Harms there. Torelli to Marshall. Marshall with the kill. Four to one, Broken Arrow. Starting to build momentum here in set number three. Yeah, offensively in the jungle squad, we'll always have this chant called one, two, three ball. And it's whenever the offense is a job of putting it once, one up, two up, bam. And you know, as of right now, at the start of this third set, the Tigers have done that very, very well. You know, getting good setups on offense to set it up perfectly for the, for the kill shot. And that one right there, a um, little bit too much too much sauce on it right there and um, get the, gets the points for the Pacers. What kind of sauce is that? I've always wondered that when you say sauce. Cane sauce is what I'm thinking right oh, now. Oh, you know? man. Or some soy sauce. <laughs> soy sauce. <laughs> soy sauce, either or. Had some panda over the weekend. He is JoJo David, our senior class president this year. <laughs> Big food guy. Hopefully they'll be cooking a nice victory dinner this evening. Oh, I'm just... I'm smiling hard for that one, Dan. Fuchs right there. Oh, perfect point. Fuchs in the middle. Dunk it in some barbecue sauce. Make it five to two. Great job right there, Fuchs. You know, she's she's cooking up something right there, in all honesty. Doing a great job. Getting a point. Five two. Early lead for the Tigers. Starting off with some quick domination. Yeah, serving it on a plate for sure. As Marshall on to serve. We got a ball on the court. Hopefully they better grab that. Okay, I think we're good now. 
This could be dangerous there with the bowl on the court. Almost as dangerous as like a hot, hot um, frying pan. Yeah, we're going to have to move on now. JoJo's Candace Fuge picks up the points. 6-2 to two in favor of Broken Arrow. Great job right there, Tigers. She's building up the points little by little. And back here, Grace Marshall to serve. Marshall on her second serve. Reed Jones to Lauren Harms. Enid saves it. That one right in the chest of Marshall. That's going to be a service ace by Lauren Harms. 7 to 12 now. Yeah, great job. The Tigers, they just, they're not doing anything wrong right now. You know, we, not much to say is a good thing to say, and the Tigers are doing their job getting it done. As Enid takes a quick timeout, it's 7 to 2 here in the field house. Broken Arrow on top. Stay with us. You're watching Tiger Volleyball on Arrowvision. At Ascension St. John, you'll find advanced heart care, brain, and spine care, and personalized cancer care. And we excel just as much in the things that can't be measured. Listening more closely, caring more compassionately. Matthews Ford and Broken Arrow has been collaborating with Broken Arrow Public Schools since 2016 and sponsors the Broken Arrow Teacher of the Year Award by providing a courtesy car for the winner to drive throughout the year. We'd like to recognize Matthews Ford for being a valuable community partner with Broken Arrow Public Schools. <laughs> Racing towards the end of the month? Ask about our early pay options. TTCU Federal Credit Union. Life is better in balance. And welcome back to the Tiger Field House. I'm Dan Hawk alongside me, Senior Class President JoJo David. Broken Arrow on top of Enid. 7-2 as Marshall on to serve for Broken Arrow. Miscommunication there. I believe that was Grace Marshall along with Candace Fuse. Just miscommunication that will happen from time to time. And Eden picks up the points. Chavez on to serve. Yeah, Harms have put down some efforts trying to get that ball, but just not really, not much of a chance right there. That ball was put in a really awkward position. Like, great job by the Pacers putting in the spot where the Tigers messed up. Cahill nearly gets the kill. Avery Jones saves it. Boswell, a nice kill shot by Candace Fuge. I just don't she know. Averages three kills a game. I, I don't know what it is, but Fuse, she just tends to always, always, always. Every time with her hits in that middle area, she gets so high up and elevated to where it's the point where she hits it down, it's just as easy, and the defense cannot stop it. So Avery Jones, Candace Fuse on to take a breather as Reagan Holt now in to serve. And that one is going to go into the net by Lauren Jackson. Tigers jumping out early in this one, 9-3, to three, as Logan Hawk makes an appearance inside the field house. Logan Hawk is quite quite a guy. you know. No relation, by the way. Not at all. I, I think that was the case. Kind of wish he was my cousin, though. That'd be, that'd, be, that'd be a cool, like, Aerovision duo right there, you know? Photographer and announcer. That's right. Cahill with the kill. 10 to 3. Cahill with the kill. What a, what a saying right there by Mr. Dan Hogg as Tigers get, get into the double digits right now. Tigers won the first two sets. But that one, Holt tried to dive, save it with one hand, unable to muster anything on that one. It'll be 10 to four. Good attempt by Blackburn and Holt to get down on the ground and try to get that one up to give the Tigers a chance, but not much of a chance right there for that one. How about that going into the net? Points go to Broken Arrow. Didn't even have to do anything. You know, wall defense, they were ready. No need to be ready. Easy points for the Tigers. Not much effort to put, had to be put into that one as Maddie Torelli goes back to serve. Yeah, I, I find it really interesting. You know, we talked about number four, Leah Owens. It's a freshman right there, you know. Have you had any interaction with her? I'm guessing not as a senior. No classes, I'm guessing. Not at all, but I have been at Baffa for a while. Gotcha. I've been at Baffa. Jasmine Bell getting in the lineup. Gets the points right there. Bell with the most 
colorful shoes in the lineup. We got purple, we've got green, we've got red, we've got white, and we've got gold. She has the perfect mix, but you know, if we're talking, if we're talking shoes, we got to talk about the pur purple people eaters. Purple people eaters, that's right. The f another freshman getting in there. That was Aaliyah Owens for the Tigers, and her along with Bell with a nice block. Leah Owens, that right side hitter, she's got a future in the sport of volleyball, and she's only a freshman. Possibly another Avery Jones. You know, Avery Jones is a senior, four-year starter. You know, she's been the libero. You know, maybe this is the calling for Jones, for Owens to be that next up four-year four -year gal. How about that? Maddie Torelli serving up some blank space in the middle to make it 14-4. Yeah, it seems this third set, the Tigers have a different amount of energy for this one, in all honesty. It seems like the energy's just been boosted up. They're getting some new people in, getting new rotations. Just, they are boosted into an, a pretty well-said victory, hopefully, for the Tigers in this third set. Yeah, they're jumping out to a 10-point advantage here. They're going to kick it around. Bell dumps it across. She gets the kill, 15-4 to four now, only 10 away. And they will get a breather and wait to see what happens with Bartlesville and Muskogee, the Lady Ruffers and the Bruins. Yeah, we I saw that one. I did not expect Jasmine to get that one, but she got really high up, elevated. Barely it's the shoes, it. JoJo. It is the shoes. We, the, the colorful shoes just always seem to be the way to go. She pumped up her PF Flyers, I would say. <laughs> it's Mr. Dan Hawk for you. Another points for the Tigers. 16 to four. We're going to take a quick time out. Enid is wanting a second to look at it. They trail 16-4. to You're watching Tiger Volleyball on Aerovision. If you and your family have been waiting for the perfect time to jump into your dream home, it's here. We make buying a new home as easy as it is exciting with quick credit approvals and great rates. First National Bank of Broken Arrow. First people put people first. There is nothing like teaching about the rewards in life, like catching that first big fish. Now they can learn about other rewards by opening up my first savings account just for them. First National Bank of Broken Arrow. First people put people first. <laughs> Your side hustle keeps you moving. We'll help you get where you really want to go. <laughs> TTCU Federal Credit Union. Life is better in balance. Matty Torelli on to serve. Tigers lead it 16 to four. Looking to close it out here in set number three and wait either Bartlesville or Muskogee. That one is gonna be off the mark for Torelli. Yeah, that one had a little twist to it, but not the twist to the right way, twist to the left way, out right there. But I think, I think the Tigers are comfortable enough to take that hit right there, give away a point for the Pacers as they have this big, pretty solid lead right now. Yeah, that's the Pacers' fifth point of the game. How about that for Enid is the block was out on the Tigers, makes it 16 to six. Yeah, that front that front wall of defense putting their hands up. They did the right job, but you know, sometimes it's a, it's a round ball, it goes anywhere. Another miscommunication mark on the Tigers. So that will make it only a nine point advantage for Broken Arrow as Jackson continues to serve for the Pacers. Going down in the middle. That is unable to go. That'll be a service ace. Harms, Lauren Harms, unable to pick it up. Seems like the Tigers are getting a bit too comfortable with the lead they have right here, but we gotta we gotta close it out and get it done. It's, it's I Bull and adjusting the lineup immediately. Harms. How about that? We'll take it. 17 to 8 points go to the Tigers. Harms with a little shoulder shrug. She was like, hey, it wasn't pretty, but we got the we point. We got it done. Exactly. Seems like the Tigers, Ian's Bowen's idea right here is just, just get it, get them all in, get them, get, get them in. You know, it's regional, it's big, big game, but you know, rest the starters coming. I mean, now it's coming up soon. We got a big, a big challenge, you know, win that game, go into the state tournament. And being a fifth team at number five in the state, I was thinking that earlier. That's a we're pretty high ranked, so high expectations are probably coming. Yeah, 23 and 10, 12 and 24 for Enid is is Stanifer. 
picks up her service ace and her first appearance in the ball game. She's the junior. Any yes. classes with her? Not at all. You know. Um, Who are we looking at for classes for you on this roster that you've had in the past? You know, Avery Jones, obviously, Maddie Blackburn, uh, Jasmine Bell, Brooklyn Cahill. And that's really it. But you know, I know I know Torelli. Um, I know Reagan Holt really well. I know Reagan Holt really well as well. So most of the seniors I have a good connection with, but class wise and most bonded, I would definitely say it's, you know, Avery. I'm you know, Cooper Bates, our boyfriend, we're really close. Gotcha. Zoe Robinson on a serve for Enid. She got it across. That one is gonna fall as Reagan Holt is unable to get anything going. Enid starting to build a little bit of momentum here in this set number three. They only trail by eight as Robinson again on to serve. The Tigers should be able to shut down immediately soon. Just play your game, stay poised, get it done. Whistles blown. Points go to the Tigers. And Watts, the Union's head coach, is going to come over and check. And they sub in Bella Cripps. As Bella Cripps comes into the lineup. Who's battled a lot of adversity just to get back on the hardwood. And you love to see like stories like that. People just prevailing in for the sport that they love. That's what, it's what sports is, you know. Most of the time people have a reasoning for playing it. To see somebody prevail through all those struggles that she had went through to play this game is amazing to see. Yeah, she had a ruptured spleen while visiting family members down in Florida. I believe it was 70 pints of blood she had lost. You can check out that story on Aerovision. But just to see her back in the lineup, pretty remarkable stuff. I know just getting to this senior campaign meant a lot to her. That one is gonna be just off the mark by Aaliyah Jones. Broken arrow though, losing that momentum a little bit. It's 19 to 12. They're still on top though. Yeah, seven point gap. We gotta get, you know, we're giving up too many points and not getting any in return. You know, most of the time you should be comfortable. It's okay to give us some points, but you gotta get some in return. We're not getting that right now. The freshman in there, that was Owens. Jones, working on the outside. Blackburn, Jones to Torelli to Blackburn. Points go to the Tigers. I believe they went into the net as in Enid. As I am bowling, bringing out Torelli. Something Brook and Cahill. Five more to go, and Tigers will be heading off to the regional championship. Or however you'd word it, you know. You worded it correctly, sir. I'm glad I did, Mr. Dan. Owens Hawk. out to the corner. Enid saves it. Stanifer in the middle. That one is out. Bella Krebs. Staying within that seven-point gap, but little by little, if Tigers build up points, should be nothing to worry about. Poleski now in there in the lineup for Enid. Owens to Cahill. And she's going to get it done, or Blackburn rather, gets it done 21 to 13. And that right there is a snap, crackle, pop moment, going back to that food reference. But that, I bring that up to say that was the one, two, three setup that the Tigers had over there. Hit one up, hit one up, perfect setup for the kill, 21-13. Now on to serve, Maddie Blackburn. Nice wall. Tigers gonna get it at points again, because that one goes into the net. I believe desperation is starting to set in for Enid. A lot of underclassmen getting an opportunity to play here for Broken Arrows. Broken Cahill goes down the middle. That wow. one just bounces in. Bad spacing by Avery Jones. Uncharacteristic of her 
to let that one stay in. I think she just kind of lost where she was at on the out marker. Yeah, she had a shock on her face. I think she had intentionally let it go because she thought it was out, but it ended up being in. So that shock on her face kind of showed, oh, I was wrong. But, you know, getting those mistakes out the way now kind of helps for this upcoming game. Chavez on to serve. Owens over to Stanifer. And that block was out, so Tigers pick up the points. It's now 23 to 14 as Jasmine Bell comes in, Reagan Holt comes in, Avery Jones and Bella Krebs come out. Getting some well-deserved rest. Tigers are two points away from facing off either Bordersville or Muskogee in the regional championship. Holt on to serve, going down the middle to Chavez. Stanifer gets it in. That had to be just by inches for Broken Arrow as they now lead it by 10. Good ball placement right there by Sander for getting in a spot where nobody was in the most pitch perfect spot that you'd expect any volleyball, any volleyball professional to put it at. Holt on to serve and that's gonna be an ace and the Tigers take care of business. They win it in three sets, the final here, 25 to 14. They will wait the winner of Muskogee and Bartlesville. So stay with us on AeroVision. We will have our game coming up in the regional championship with Broken Arrow, but we have to wait the winner of Bartlesville and Muskogee. The Tigers improved to 24 and 10 on the year. Enid finishes this year with a 12 and 25 record. For JoJo David, I am Dan Hawk. Thank you for watching Broken Arrow Volleyball. Remember, we'll be back in just a little bit with the regional championship, Broken Arrow facing either Muskogee or Bartlesville. Stay with us and go Tigers.